I'm always searching for new ideas on how to jazz up a roast chicken because it's a really nice dish to serve when you've got friends and family coming around for supper, whether it's a Sunday roast or during the week. This one I particularly love. Basically, I make a gorgeous marinade with walnuts that I've toasted, pomegranates, flat leaf parsley, and then I do a beautiful spiced couscous to go with it. And I do lovely jeweled shallots and garlic and everything. It's gorgeous and very simple to make. I've toasted my walnuts in a dry pan and I put half of them into a food processor and the other half I hold back for adding into my couscous. Then some lovely peppery flat leaf parsley, pomegranate. And this is the best way to get your seeds out of the pomegranate. What you do is you half it like that and then you get your wooden spoon and you just bash it and all the seeds fall out. And then I pour in some good quality melted butter. I love Kerrygold Irish butter. Some sea salt and then blitz it. So get my whole chicken on your roasting tray. The marinade is all blitzed up. I'm just going to spoon that out on top and smear it all over. There's the pomegranate, the walnut, the flat leaf parsley and the beautiful butter. So it doesn't look terribly appetizing when it's going in, but when it comes out, you have that gorgeous crust and the smell of the toasted walnuts and the pomegranates in with it and the flat leaf parsley is gorgeous. This is gonna give your chicken so much flavor. I love using whole shallots when I'm doing a roast. I just pop them around the roast like this. I also love having my garlic whole and I slice it through the center like this. And we'll roast up the pieces of garlic like that. Some flat leaf parsley. And then I just put some melted, beautiful Kerrygold Irish butter all around the shallots and the garlic. And off it goes to the oven to rest. So now that the chicken is in roasty, I'm going to make the couscous. Couscous is so simple to make, but you've got to get the proportions right and you've got to punch it with lots of gorgeous spices. And I put my spices in to the dry couscous before I even add the stock into it. So I pop in cumin, cinnamon, which is so traditional in Morocco. Cinnamon is so good in couscous. And then some smoked paprika and some sea salt. And the next important step is that you have hot boiling stock, either chicken stock or vegetable stock, whatever takes your fancy. And then the exact measurements are in the recipe below and do look at them because I have this like measured out perfectly. Pour in the hot stock all over the couscous and the spices. Cover it with cling film because what we're doing here is we're steaming it and then this will cook itself. Do not open it for at least 10 minutes. Pop it to the side, don't think about it. Put on your timer, have a glass of wine, do a little dance in the kitchen. Ooh, the smell of the walnut is amazing. Oh, gorgeous crust on top, which is just banging with flavor. So I'm gonna pop this down to rest for a few minutes while I finish off the couscous. So you take off the cling film. And then with the fork, you fork back all the grains like this. You can see that all of the stock has been completely absorbed by the grains. So now that I've got all the grains of the couscous loosened and forked, I'm gonna put them into my serving dish. So remember that the chicken is gonna go on top of this, so we kinda of need to make a little bit of room for that as well. But before we put the chicken on top, I'm gonna to add in more flavor into it with the flat leaf parsley that I'm gonna chop up finely. And then the lovely toasted walnuts. I'm gonna make a little bundle here. That's gonna be my topping. I want them to be roughly chopped and not finely chopped because I wanna be able to see that these are walnuts. They'll be so visually beautiful. Popping all the walnuts into the couscous. 
keeping some back for the top, tossing them through all that lovely spiced couscous. And then lastly is some sunshine. Just bash them in. And then I'm just going to make some room for the, the chicken. So popping up all the couscous to the side, but also leaving a little bit underneath so that all of the juices from the chicken will run into the couscous as well. And then pop your whole roast chicken into the bed of this couscous. Boy, does that look. And then just tuck in all of the couscous around the side. And see all these beautiful pieces of garlic, which they look beautiful, but also you just, you know, everybody with their forks can like take little pieces of the garlic out. And then those walnuts and flat leaf parsley that I left behind for the topping, just sprinkle them all over the chicken. And then the pomegranates as well. How amazing is that look? And it tastes so gorgeous. My walnut pomegranate roast chicken with spiced jeweled couscous. So heavenly. The full recipe is just below or you can pop over to my website. Definitely check out my other playlists. I've got so many other gorgeous suppers that you can share with your friends and your family. And I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe. Enjoy.